Hey everybody, welcome on back to the Anchorage and you get yourself ready because we are going to be looking at Destru Calls on this edition of DiscQuest. Hey, welcome on back. So, <laughs> thanks for coming. I hope you've been liking this series that I've been doing for Disroot. Uh, it's called DisQuest, and uh, you know, covering uh, the different services that Disroot provides. Uh, and um, we are going to be covering the next one, which is regarding calls. Uh, a couple, three years ago, there was this um, little problem that uh, may have caused a lot of businesses to have their employees work uh, remotely from their home. A lot of schools maybe had to remote from home for school. Um, not naming anybody, but uh, they went with this software called Zoom which is a centralized uh, video conferencing uh, software. And, um, you know, it is very good, but it did have its problems. Uh, Zoom bombing is a term that was, uh, came out uh, because uh, people that weren't supposed to be on these conference calls were suddenly coming in and doing who knows what. Yeah, so... We needed, you know, it's like people need a good piece of software where they can uh, have these secure calls and, um, you know, be able to video conference with people and not really need to worry about people just randomly coming in and um, bombing on it, you know, interrupting or just being a jerk or being quiet and just watching, you know, um, NSA, um, Five Eyes, you name it. So we are going to be focusing on this video on Disroot solution. They call it calls. And uh, if we come on out to the website, we will be taking a look at that so here is the disroot.org website right here if we come to services and come all the way down to calls we click on that and we are met with this and we've got a nice camera here a nice little uh rigging of sorts you know carrying rig and also it's a light mount that's cool and i see this guy he's got a phone that's all beat the <laughs> it's all beat up but either way Jitsi. Jitsi is the software that uh, Disroot uses. And it's called Disroot's Call Service is a video conferencing software powered by Jitsi. It provides you with high quality video and audio conferences with as many partners as you wish or want. It also allows you to stream your desktop or, or only some windows to other participants in the call. In other words, you can share your desktop. And you do that in Zoom. Disroot Calls is found out here at calls.disroot.org and the project homepage is here and you can view the source code here. You can come up here and you can just click on that to start a conference right through the website or if you're on the Tor browser, you can go here for Tor. Some feature highlights. You can use your favorite app. So you can use your favorite app. So you can just use the web, like a website. You can use the Jitsi desktop. You can use Jitsi Android and on Jitsi Apple. So, I don't like Apple. It's a fruit box. Applesauce. I love applesauce, but I don't like electricity going through it. Thank you very much. It's easy to use. Just start a meeting and share its link with other members. It's that simple. You don't even need any account to use it. You can be run in your browser without installing any additional software on your computer. You can just do it right inside your browser. Fantastic. And I like this. You don't even need any account to use it. You don't need a Disroot account to use it. You can just come out here to the website, fire it up, and away you go. 
you can have a custom link. That's awesome. And you can also have a chat that shows up now. For me, I use Jitsi Meet. I will we'll actually be looking at that um, on uh, Solaria. So, uh, but uh, I'm on Odin right now, so I'm just using uh, <laughs> uh, Firefox right off the desktop of Windows 10. So, but whatever. Uh, but you can use the chat here. And uh, on Jitsi Meet, it shows up on the left. I believe this should show up on the left for the websites related uh, house rooms and stuff like that so and that's useful for like if you don't actually have to say anything or interrupt what's already going on you can just throw it in this chat you know you can throw links in there and things of that sort so that's pretty good so we are going to come up here and we are going to start a conference so i'm going to click on that and here we go and this is the page that we're met with. Now, I had already tried to do a run, and uh, it was at this room right here. Expert discounts indicates where buy, whatever. Um, this is where you can actually you can actually type a name of a room here if you wish. You don't have to. If you just want to go ahead and just start it, you can just start it, and it will create a name of a room. That's what I did, and it created that name. So this is room. We're going to use that. But um, you can, if you have a particular room name in mind that you would like to use, you can just go here. So here is a link up here for Jitsi going to their website. And then you have a settings link here. And, um, you know, if you haven't used uh, it before, you may get a pop-up from your browser asking. And that will show up over in this area here. Um, on Firefox at least, uh, it may be different depending on your browser or your desktop settings or something. Um, it'll ask you, do you want to go ahead and use it? And, um, you know, we can allow it. So we'll do that. And we get these permissions. Uh, let's see, audio permission not granted, permission not granted, video. Let's see. Do that. Does that do anything? Preview unavailable. Okay, so I can't use the camera. Uh, and of course, no audio is going through, but whatever. Uh, but that, yep, it's going here. Okay, so I've got the right microphone in there, and you can see it going on. And uh, of course, you, you can test it. Ooh, that's neat. Neat little sound. Uh, if you haven't heard that, it's a phone ringing. And uh, if you want to test it again, you can just click on test, and you'll hear the phone ringing. It's as if you're making a phone call that ring so um here in the states uh it, we've got a you know we've got a pretty unique uh phone ring sound if you're over in europe uh you'd get that you'd get twice you know two quick ones over here it's a longer single one so for video you know preview unavailable that's because i'm using the camera right now virtual backgrounds you can typically pick your own background but it's not letting me yep but you can pick your background you can go to notifications and identify what kind of notifications you would like to see profile your profile you can you can plug in your own name and a gravatar email now this the gravatar email is so that you can actually have an avatar up here so if you go to gravatar.com i believe it's .com might be .org, I can't quite remember. But, uh, you know, this actually has a uh, connection to Gravatar specifically, so you'd have to go to uh, gravatar.com or .org. I forget exactly what it is, because I, I did it, and uh, I don't have to worry about it. But anyways, whatever email you had set up on that, you can plug it in here. It'll go out to Gravatar, look that up, grab your avatar that you have uploaded there, and it'll display it right here. If you got shortcuts, you can, you know, do you wish to enable she keyboard shortcuts? There you go. And then general stuff. Maximum number of participants that can be pinned to the main stage. Experimental. Okay, so this is experimental. So, and then you can pick your language. You've got a whole bunch here. I speak English, therefore I go with English. So I go okay with that. And if you have any pre-existing uh, rooms, 
or call rooms they'll be uh indicated down here and you can just click on one so I'm, and if you want to get rid of it you can actually delete it so of course i checked on it and of course now i'm in there uh accidentally right clicked when i meant to left click on the trash can but either way you can just click on the trash can to get rid of it so here we are inside of a conference and uh, of course uh let's see up at the top left you get that link to the Jitsi page up in the up in the center you've got the name of your room and how long your call's been going on and then you've got your performance settings you click on that you're met up with this you can just x out of it if you don't mean if you didn't mean to go in but you can adjust your performance settings you know best performance highest quality uh with uh jitsi uh this particular hosted instance of jitsi you know you can just keep it around high quality or bring it down one notch and that'll be just fine you'll get really good quality with that best performance the lower you go um you know it'll you is what i've seen from my experience is that when you turn this down you're basically bringing it down to the point of where the camera shuts off and then you're left with just audio which is fine but we've got that and here we go and then over here on the right hand side in this corner it says me well yeah that's me oh there we go that's me so you've got this here which is uh to show you different things and you can show more Ooh, all of this over on the right hand side you can flip it you can hide the self view pin it to the stage and then you've got your main here and then as more and more people come in you know you'll get let's say if you have two people you get one on the left one on the right yourself being one of them um and then let's say you had six people in here you'd have one two three four five six there you go and down along on the bottom you have some other settings that you can pick from this is a an audio mute this is a stop camera so you can shut it off turn it on and as you do things you know you might get little notifications over here on the left you can raise your hand Woo, raising your hand and it says oh someone raised their hand okay you can open up a chat let's see the this is actually just the uh participants which opens up here over on the right you can invite someone click on that there's your copy and meeting link and there you go and then you can uh send that on out you can uh, copy the meeting invitation you can go to your default email uh, uh uh, all right yeah i'm not talking about these you can go to these but um blech. yeah um regarding these emails this would provide a very nice email which i'll have in a different video so there we go so there we got that all right so if you've got a lot of participants here and you need to find someone in particular that's not listed you could just come here pull throw in their name and there you go and then you get this listing where you know you got all their listings with their avatars and then you've got the uh raise your hand if the video is on or off you can control whether it's on or off and then uh, or you know if the if their video connection is coming through you get indicated if it is here and their video will show up on here you can mute everybody mute everyone all participants can unmute themselves at any time so you can just mute everybody <coughs> Excuse me and then we can stop everybody's video you want to stop everybody's video you can stop them you can do more moderation controls all like this everybody starts muted starts hidden everyone follows me mute reaction sounds for everybody uh, you know you can do all of that that's when you moderator so if you're the one creating it creating the room you're the moderator and there you go so and then you've got close participants pane you can close that and then you've got a toggle tile view you know so if you've got tiles of everybody over here on the right 
You can do this and get everybody to show up in the center here. You've got more actions, which is all of these. You can invite more people, set your performance settings, view full screen, security options. You can go to that. You can uh, enable a lobby. You can add a password to your meeting if you wish. Ooh, let's see. You can share your video, noise suppression, show the whiteboard, select the background. And of course, I go to select it and it fails to do that, but you know, you should be able to do that. Uh, I've got OBS running, so I think that's the interference. You have a whiteboard, so you can show a whiteboard. Ooh, uh, let's see. I can't quite do anything with it, so okay. Uh, let's see, you can hide the whiteboard. All right, so we can uh, participant stats. You can see their stats. You can search them out, see whose it is. You can see what their stats are. Speaker time, name, that sort. Uh, let's see, you've got other settings. This brings up your general settings. That we looked at before. And you can view your shortcuts. So these are the shortcuts, the keyboard shortcuts. In other words, you know, your hotkeys. So you can do that. And anything else? You can embed the meeting onto a website. So you can embed the meeting onto a web page for, for a website that you may be uh, authoring. And uh, you can just do that. It, it, and basically what it does is that it creates an iframe. And on the page, so it's dedicated just for the 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 conferencing stuff like that. So you just copy that, and then you can go out and onto your web authoring software, and there you go, and just paste it where you need it, and do your thing there. So there we go. So this is very very good. I do use this, and I set that, and I come back here, and here I am. So there we go. So that's that part of it uh, through a web page. So what I'm going to do now is, um, of course, for you it's like that, but for me, I, it takes me a moment. But I have to basically uh, stop recording here, fire up OBS over on Solaria, shift the cords for the camera and the mic from Odin over to Solaria, and uh, we're going to look at Jitsi Meet the. Uh, the Linux software. There we go. So when we look at that. Okay, we are over on Solaria, and here's my desktop. Ooh, isn't this cool? Okay, so if we come over here to my menu, we go there, we'll fire up the software manager. It just takes a moment. There it is. So, oh, of course, right off the bat, it says Zoom because it's right here. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want Telegram. We don't want any of this stuff. What we want is uh, Jitsi, Jitsi Meet. There it is. So, of course, I've got it installed because I use it. And I did recently reinstall it, but uh, it's a flat pack. So, it's from uh, Flathub. So, and uh, you can get it directly from them or you can on Linux Mint. You've got the software manager. You can get it through here. So, once you actually install it, you can launch it. Well, I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to launch it from here. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to punch in JIT, and I can see it there. You can see there's my my uh, my Anchorage of, I think I call it Anchorage Com Relay. But here's Jitsi Meet right here, and if we fire it up, boom, there we go. And uh, when after I reinstalled, I checked to make sure, you know, that I could use it. So I, you know, it Anchorage Com Relay. There it is. So I may use this on a live feed or something like that if I decide to or whatever. But if I wanted, there's that. So here's the application. We've got, you know, the, just the logo here. It is not a link. We've got... This here, server URL. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> of course, this thanks for coming, everyone. I'm server timeout, 30 seconds. In other words, if it's uh, any connection issues, you got 30 seconds. Disable auto gain control, 
Not that. All right, that's cool. All right, and down bottom, we've got this little help box. Terms, privacy, send feedback about source code version 2023-10-0. Cool. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire this up. And there it is. So, and this is what you're met with when you're in Jitsi Meet. You get that. Here's this. If your camera is running, you're going to get uh, a camera image. And, uh, of course, mine's, uh, if I can get that on, there we go. And, um, of course, I'm currently recording, so you don't see me. You get to see my gravatar, my avatar that I've got picked here. So, this is that. And over here, join meeting, Anchor's Com Relay. You can type in what your name is here. You can join it. And you can also mute it. You can stop the camera. You can invite people. You can select the background. You can go to settings, and it just brings you right back to the same settings. There we go. So if we go ahead and it says you need to enable the microphone and camera access, that's mainly because I'm using both of them in OBS so it's not going to let me use it here so but if I go join and click on that and here we go and it looks just like it does from the other side you know just as if it if you're using this through the web web page side of things you get the same options here you get that here everything and all that stuff and uh, you know and just to kind of introduce you a little bit to this if you're all done you can just click on that and it just kicks you right back out to here so there we go okay that is Jissy for video conferencing provided by disroot using the name calls that's just what they call it but it's using Jitsi, and they put it out there for you it's it's secure it's good very good quality i use Jitsi on another server for switch to linux and uh, there we go so this video is brought to you by ICAD. Yes, I know. Okay. I can't hear. Oh, yes. And I would like to introduce you to I Can Too. Isn't that great? It's fantastic. So we are going to be ending there, ICAD. And, um, uh, yeah, guy, what are you doing? whatever I can't turp. oh yeah yep so there we go yeah so that's gonna be the end of this one what are you talking about guy okay so yeah what are you gonna be doing huh okay so yeah we are going to be ending it there thank you very much for coming I can too and uh you seem a little ominous, so... Hey! What are you doing? I can't... I can't tell! Anyhow... Ugh. Got a little bit of a rug rat. So, yeah. I can't tell! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you guys, I'm going to have to have a discussion with you two after this is all done. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Um, see you later. All right, you guys.